Hello everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain 8 fmc giving you a closer look at the Belize Dry Star Boot from Alpine Stars. Alright everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're giving you a closer look at the Belize Dry Star Boot from Alpine Stars. Now the Belize Dry Star is going to be an adventure touring boot and this is going to be the younger brother to the Corozal. If you're familiar with the Corozal boot, here's what you need to know. They're identical as far as the technicality, the features, the safety protection that you're getting, the only difference is going to be in the height. So with the low version, this is going to come up to about the bottom of the rider's calf. Obviously, if you go with the full height option with the Corozal, you're going to get about three or four more inches of height added to that. Now, if you're asking yourself, do you want the low option? Do you want to go with the full height? That's just going to come down to rider preference. There are a couple things you do want to consider. With the low version, like I said, it's going to come up to about the bottom of the calf. So one thing to note is waterproofing. These both have the Dry Star waterproof membrane, which will come up to about where this plastic shim plate starts. Now with the full height version, you're going to get about three or four more inches of that waterproofing. So really think about this entire boot would be waterproof essentially if you went the full height option. Also price point, depending if you go with the oil leather option or just the standard leather, you're about 40, 40 or $50 cheaper in price with the low version. So a couple things to consider there, but other than that, both rock solid options. So if we look here, Sizing, very comfortable right out of the box. One thing that I actually think is one of the standout features about these is how comfortable they are. Nice wide toe box, not too wide, not narrow, so it's going to fit a wide range of different riders' feet widths. But also, as far as the sizing goes, it's going to be true to size. But remember, boots on a parallel item. If you get them, if you're not happy with the size of the fit, send it back in brand new unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange just to make sure you get the size and the fitment that you are looking for. But if you look here, Full grain leather. Again, you've got the polyurethane coated option here in black, full oil leather in brown. That's just going to come down to which one you feel looks the best in my opinion. But you've got that leather here. You're going to notice on both toe boxes, you've got this TPU. Obviously on the left side, that's going to offer protection as far as durability goes when you're shifting. They got it on both sides just so they're going to be symmetrical. But as you work your way up here, you can see you've got the plastic shim plate here. Remember, you're sacrificing a little bit of coverage by going with the law option. But aside from that, we turn around and look at the lateral side. Here's what I like. They have their biomechanical link system here on this lateral side. So you've got a lot of hard plastic here, so that's offering good impact protection for the ankle. But it's more of a blade system here. So what this is doing, it's offering good flex front and back, but it's still offering good support and lateral rigidity for the rider's ankle. So you're getting that here on the lateral side. Flip it around and look at the medial. So you've got that full grain leather that wraps around the inside, but you'll notice right here, on that malleolus bone on the ankle, you actually have TPU that's underneath that leather, so you're still getting some impact protection here on the medial side. Work your way up, you now have suede, so you're getting good grip, and then you're getting this burn guard up here towards the top as well. Now you notice too, you got the full grain leather, but here, as you start to work your way up to that plastic shim plate, you've got that light gray material, that is microfiber, so that's a synthetic leather, that's just going to offer a little bit more flex, very durable material, so that's what you're getting there. You're also going to get that microfiber here in the back in these stretch bellows, again, great durability, just adding to the flexibility also, and then you'll notice you do have a little bit of pop of reflectivity, pop of reflectivity down here towards the bottom. Now if we talk about the sole design. One thing to note with the core, or excuse me, with the dry stars, with the sole, it's going to have the same sole design as the Corozal. But looking at it here, more of a lug design, so think good traction when you're off the bike walking around. That's kind of one of the reasons that I like the low version. If you spend a lot of time off the bike walking, you get to your destination, you want to go for a hike. Well, I think that the low version is going to be a little bit more catered towards that type of rider because it's more like a hiking boot when you're not on the bike, which I like. So you've got the lug sole design. You are going to have a steel shank in here. So what's nice about that steel shank offers good rigidity to the sole. So if you are doing some more aggressive riding, you're standing up working hard on the foot pegs, you're going to want that support in the sole. And that's what you're getting here. Last couple things I will notice, I'll undo the buckles. So you got two buckle design. If you're going to the Corozal, you're going to have three buckles, but it's the same buckle design that you're going to have actually on their off-road motocross boots. It's a great buckle design. It works well. They're self-aligning. What that means is that all you got to do is just take your strap, slide it through the buckle. It's going to align itself and then you just step it down. So what's nice about these is that even with the thicker glove on, it's still very easy to operate. So open those up, Velcro at the top. So with that open, that's going to show you that dry star waterproof membrane on the inside. So you're seeing how high that comes up. So remember, like I said, if you're looking at the full height version, it's going to come up essentially almost to the top of the boot. So one thing to consider there. But you'll notice too, you're not going to be able to see it, but you do have nice padding on the inside around the ankle area as well. Again, like I said, very comfortable right out of the box. 
Last couple of things I do want to point out as far as protection goes, you are going to have a reinforced toe box, reinforced heel cup as well. So again, they're doing what they can to give you as much ankle support and protection as possible while going with the low version. If you guys have questions or comments about the Dry Star or the Belize Dry Star, leave those below. We'll get those questions answered. And to pick yours up, you can just click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Orders over $75 ship free. If you guys like this video, we got a lot more just like it. We cover all the adventure categories for our buyer guides as well, so make sure to give those a watch if you're picking up your gear as well. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.